like, what do you think would happen if you didn't identify as black? Well, then how do you call it? I mean, not collective bargain is not the right word, but if you do like, you need strength in numbers. So how do you get rights? How do you triumph over the imperialist or whatever the oppressive, you know, other quote unquote is if you have people who are floating in and out of, in and out of the definition, like you strength in numbers gives voice. And yeah. so that's why you have to do it. So for me, like, and we can even, even outside of race being um, uh, gay, one of the conversations that always comes up during pride is coming out. And I always tell gay men, I said, I don't judge, you know, your journey and your path. But for me, it was important to come out to friends and family in the world and employer to set to stand up and be counted. So an analogy, an analogy, you know, uh, analogy with my race, it was up to I publicly self identify as black because it's important for me to stand up and be counted. And also within my own, you know, the the diversity of your own black community to stand up and be counted as the way I show up or I interpret being a black American mm. is for me. Stand up and be counted is important because it does what? Well, number one, it gives you visibility mm. and visibility raises awareness and awareness raises consciousness. I'm not saying awareness equal equates to immediate change, but it raises consciousness. And when our consciousness, when our consciousness is elevated, then it gives us new questions to consider that contribute to our worldview. And when our worldview is challenged, we have a choice. Either we can retreat into what we know, either we challenge it right back, or we can choose to integrate this as a piece of knowledge to build a broader scope in the world for ourselves. So I heard two things of why you think it's important to identify as Black, as, as your race. One is um, to create some sort of community that can help one another to change the things that affect you organically in the day, right? Well, and also for, the, for people who aren't black, because there, there are people, I mean, there, there are people just like being gay who legitimately don't have many interactions with black people and they may have questions, notions, et cetera. Yeah. And they may have a not have a genuine respectful curiosity and when some when you stand up and be counted it's a way of saying to the world i'm here and and because this has really happened to me with being gay over the years like where people like you know we're, we're very curious about gay men and how we show up and live our lives etc mm -hmm. and i was always willing to answer those questions but they wouldn't have they wouldn't have had me as a resource had i not been out yeah. So that was the second thing. So the first thing is kind of the forming of a community that can help one another, inform one another as you and your friends do, mm -hmm. advocate for one another as it relates to the common challenges that you experience mm -hmm. or the common ways in which you want things to change to create more equity and, and whatnot. The second way was being a representative of that group in some way that might inform others in the population, that might change stereotypes Mm -hmm. in the population um and for me that's another reason why it's important for me to be to be fully married to the man i'm with it's another way of standing up and being counted mm -hmm. what would you say if someone said to you why not consider yourself a human first an american first uh I respect hey. that, but I, I do, I respect that, but that is not as politically impactful as taking the label that other people have put upon me and turning it into, what's the month? A source of pride. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called pride. Mm -hmm. That's why it's called pride, pride. And I'm proud to be black. I'm proud to be from a working class black community, even when I'm bringing the tilly tally. <laughs> I'm proud. Um, and I'm proud to be gay. When, when the another man, when, when the black community is diverse, right? And we've talked about that before. There's different ways of showing up as a black person. There are different ideas within uh, the black community. What does it then mean to be proud of being black? 
right? Like, what are the, what is the pride about? If so what is Jewish pride about for you? To watch the rest of that episode, go ahead and click the video below me. To see a different compelling Healing Race episode, you can click the video below me. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.